Welcome to a brand new video on the NGM channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be doing a small guide on the bosses and the targets we need to fight. Uh, I said on the review I was going to do one of these and um, this is one of my first guides I've ever done so uh, hopefully this might help you out if you're new to the game. Don't forget if you're new to the channel please hit the like, subscribe and leave a comment if you did enjoy this video. So let's begin. So let's begin with our first target, and that will be the Butcher. Butcher is a walking sack of flesh meat, really. And uh, it does have many attacks, including a frenzy mode, where he's relentless as heck. So let's start off with his uh, strong melee attack, which is the hook attack. This strong attack can also set the player on fire, so be warned. For his range attack, he casts out a crazy fireball, uh, which literally flies towards the player and it will set you on fire. Uh, the Butcher runs after the players at the same speed as the sprinting speed whilst swinging his hook. The worst thing about the Butcher is it leaves a fire patch behind him. So if you try and walk around, you'll see like a load of fire behind him. However, this Butcher has a weakness. Uh, he's easy to kill with an axe. So uh, make sure you use your strong attack on him so you can stun him once. If he starts going to a frenzy mode, get out to the nearest exit for letting him cool down. If you can throw a well-placed dynamite or have a sticky bomb, you can really shred his health. Uh, I would not recommend using fire, uh, any fire attacks like, you know, dragon bullets or hellfire molotovs because it won't work on him at all. So if you do ever come across, make sure you find a weapon around the map and use that to your advantage to take him out. Preferably an axe if you can. Um, as I said, the melee attacks do a good damage, but if you've got a well-placed dynamite, that will take a good chunk of his health. Okay, the second one we're going to come up to is the spider. Now, I think this one is the most scariest out of them all. Uh, only for its speed and the size of it. It's a very fast target, so make sure you're equipped with something fast as well. Uh, the spider has many attacks, including, again, a frenzy mode. First attack will be the pounce attack, which freaks me out the most. Uh, the spider announces a pounce attack, which screeches before it jumps. So make sure you hit the screech and get some distance. Uh, dealing enough damage to the spider, that phase will interrupt the jumping attack. So in a way, if you start screeching at it and you've got something big, like a, a double bow shotgun, that would probably stop him from trying to do a, a pounce attack. If it's on the roof, it will do its other attack, which is a spit attack, which spews up poison. And now, oh my days, poison is very horrible, but not as bad as fire. So you can get out that area and let your health regenerate. So his frenzy mode is pretty horrible because when he's in frenzy mode, which is usually at a quarter of his health left, the spider will run with a great speed after the player and then stab him with the claws. Um, that will deal a little bit of damage and also poison them. I, I guess, if I'm guessing right, it'll be at least 30 damage. Don't ever bring poison to the fight with him. Uh, don't ever use poison because literally he is poison, of course, spiders and all that shenanigans. But again, these have a weakness. So if you've got a blunt type weapon, if you find around the map, so of course, if you know the meme or any other thing in the film, you would know what to kill it with. Kill it! Kill it with fire! That's right, anything you've got, fire bullets, dragon shells, you know, you name it. Anything you've got, like molotovs, just burn him. In fact, burn the house down, seriously. But in all, in all jokes aside, fire is the best way to take him out. Uh, as well as blunt weapons, so if you find a sledgehammer around the map, make sure you hold on to that. You do a better way to kill him. And we're coming down to our next target, and that will be the Assassin. The Assassin is one of my favorite bosses to fight, because it keeps you on your toes, and I like that. So his first attack will be the Stab Attack. Uh, the assassin will come up behind you uh, with a spear from his one of his bones and will deal damage to a hunter and as well will make you bleed. So make sure you check your back when it comes past you. I haven't yet to have uh, a range attack from the assassin, but it can use its bones as a spear. Another thing after you keep winding up for a while, uh, it will split into two. So it will do a clone attack. 
It, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but make sure you shoot them off and, and to deal that damage as well. Uh, he doesn't do it constantly, so bear in mind it's like once and then he'll come back to his form. Another thing he does is cast a load of bugs at you. I believe he also attack when if he hits you, sometimes you get bugs in your, on your screen, so it's very hard to see. It doesn't poison you, but it, your vision will be pretty weird with all the bugs in front of you. Uh, someone actually I was playing with said hold F. Um, but, you know, I, I just literally get the bugs and run out of there and wait for it to cool down. Because I, I don't think that's what... I think, like, the thing is with that, I think everyone thinks it's a myth. So this beast also has a frenzy mode. Uh, the assassin will spawn two clones. However, the clone if the clone manages to successfully hinder a hunter's view, the assassin will focus on them and use the stab attack. So if one person gets hit, make sure your friend backs you up or... If you're by yourself, of course, the best approach, get out of there. However, you'll be surprised that his weakness is poison. Uh, so if you've got any grenades, throw it out there, like poison grenades, uh, any poison bullets. I tend to use either the dual weld or... But another thing, when he's easily interrupted, uh, use a shotgun on him. Uh, blow that sucker somewhere <laughs> to God knows. And also the latest new boss, which will be called the Scrap Beak. Uh, it's got a pretty cool lore background, i got to say. It's a giant bird with loads of storage. So when you get to the area, compared to all the other targets you fought, there's no health, there's no ammo, there's no weapons around. So you're going to have to go in on your own and with your own gear. However, all the items that were on the outskirts are in his suit, so you're going to have to strip him apart. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So let's talk about his uh, melee attacks. Literally, uh, he, he wields one tool at a time. So it could either be an axe, hammer, shovel, or pitchfork. Um, honestly, you uh, you can't even see it. It's always dark. But it, yeah, it's going to watch out for that. Especially when it's an axe, because it can do bleeding effects. So just be, be careful on that. Uh, his range attacks is a barbed wire bomb. And when he throws that at you, it will ju it'll just spew out razor wires. So you're going to have to watch out for that. Although it gives you bleeding damage, it also slows you down. So if you're getting chased by him and you come across a fence full of um, razor wire, then you're going to have to get out of there and try and find another route. However, you can use that to your advantage uh, after taking him out just before you take him out and if he does throw any at some of the doors that would be good because it will prevent players from rushing you another thing with these razor wires there is a way to break them uh i would go for a longer range weapon try and do a knife it's a literal 50 percent chance that you'll get cut um although you know a bigger weapon seems to be a better pitchfork i guess if you're doing a stabbing you're getting rid of it that that seems to be a lot better now this the weird thing with the scrap big is it has its bat pack which reduces the damage of most direct attacks such as gunshots by half but on the plus side piercing attacks are not affected by the damage uh you can cause so if you have a pitchfork or a bayonet weapon then that would be suitable uh it does have a frenzy uh it's not a great frenzy let's just say that it's pretty it's pretty terrible uh, the frenzy will start when he starts shredding his uh, his feathers and dropping items. I did notice when I was shooting at him, he does drop a bomb to drop. And uh, it's all primed, so you're going to have to watch out for when you run around. and You won't be able to do that loops half the time. Uh, his movement speed will be slightly increased after each frenzy. This will be stacked as well, so he, he'll double and then keep on going... Uh, when you keep pissing it off. Uh, his final frenzy is the Scrap Beak Scream will apply to an ear ringing effect to all players in the area. So basically, if you've got other players in the area and you're trying to sneak around and they're also fighting, and if they do that uh, ear screeching sound, then you might have the opportunity to get in there and take them out because they won't be able to hear you because of the um, ear ringing effect. But let's talk about his weakness, because there are some ups and downs with his weakness. Of course, he's weakness to poison, because he's also human as well, or humanoid, we should say. Um, however, if you really want to take him out fast, burn the bugger. Burn. Just, again, kill it with fire. <laughs> um, 
However, when you burn Scrap Beak, the items will not be usable. You won't be able to uh, use them. That's the only downfall, but the plus side is you're killing them quick. He's all, if you've got a hammer or any other axes, you know, if you find away from the area, he's pretty slow and easy to hit anyway, so just you you get to stagger him if you get a nice fully charged a direct attack to him. Uh, when it comes to, like I said, incendiary bullets, if you want to kill him quick, uh, otherwise just shoot at it. That is my beginner's guide for new players of how to take out your targets and what's the best way to kill them. And what their weaknesses, their strengths, all that shenanigans. This is one of my first guides that I've ever done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope this helped someone out. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe to the MGN channel. It would mean a lot to all of us. Um, we do have the website, uh, mgn.gg. Make sure you check that out for all the other tutorials and different video games. And also reviews and news. And that is Cornerstone. Now, you all take care and have a wonderful day.